I'm Tony. And I'm Jeff. We're in gaming, and that's you. Hello gamers and welcome back to the end. I'm Rob, of course, or Warshag if you want to call me by my end game name. And today, uh, we actually took some information we had found off Reddit and decided to make a video out of it, um, as I found it really helpful to myself. Uh, for those of you who are, well, let's make this straight, for those of you who are actually interested in the new Warrior Legendary, wondering what percentages you have to get specific weapons, this video is for you. If you have no intention of playing the Warrior class whatsoever and you don't play Warrior at all, this video, you could just bypass it. So, with that said, um, also I did not make this video, or I did not, <laughs> I am in this video, but I did not make this guy. This was made by Diddly Dicker. Uh, it was posted on Reddit, and then apparently it was then put over to Mana Crystals here because it was some useful information, which I definitely agree with. Um, so with that said, let's get into the weapons and kind of a little bit about this card and why I'm kind of going over it. So first of all, he's a seven mana, six five, battle cry, equip a random weapon. Um, the stats are that of a five drop, like it mentions here. But what makes him worth seven mana is his ability, and that's battle cry, equip a random weapon. So they've broken this down into I think five tier lists there's 20 weapons in total so you just basically divide how many weapons are in each tier by the 20 and you get the percentage of like getting one of those weapons through that particular tier so the first tier we have is the amazing tier these are the best pop possible weapons you could get um, from Alcarac hopefully I'm saying his man name correct as I've had quite a bit of alcohol tonight due to the fact that we've lost many games of Hearthstone today guys I think we went from rank 4 to like rank 7 as soon as you go on tilt, you're done. So a recommendation, doesn't have anything to do with the video, but when you start losing, you start getting angry, stop playing Hearthstone. Do yourself a favor, unlike me, who just keeps going, because I'm dumb. Anyway, Doomhammer, Gladiator's Longbow, and Gorehow, these, again, are the best weapons you could possibly get. There's three of them, there's 20 weapons in total, you have a 15% chance to grab any of these. Um, going down to the great tier, we're going to go over this quickly, because there's not a ton of information here. I'll leave it up to you to read if you're looking for that. I'll throw the, uh, the link to this website in the description below. Um, but if there's anything out of the ordinary, I'll go over that. Uh, going over the great tier, we have the Arcane Reaper, Assassin's Blade, True Silver Champion, and the Hammer of Twilight. All of these are good. They're not quite as good as maybe getting a Gorhow, of course, or a Gladiator's Longbar Doom Hammer, as this is the amazing tier. Uh, but they're still really, really good weapons. Uh, they all cost basically four or above, most of them costing five. So if you play uh, Malkarok and you also get one of these, you're getting essentially 12, manas wor 12 mana worth of value with seven mana. So that's pretty huge tempo play there, especially with these sorts of weapons like Assassin's Blade or maybe even Hammer of Twilight where you get four charges out of it or you even get a dude um, that comes out of it after it's already done. So you've killed, you know, one to two creatures and you're getting a guy from it. Um, it's pretty insane. So again, we have a 20% chance to get the great tier, 15% uh, for amazing tier. So we're at 35% chance to grab a pretty good weapon for Malkrok as of now. Uh, things start looking not so good when we get down here. Uh, so we're looking at the average tier right now. This is going to be your Fire Blade War, actually your Horn, Bow, your King's Defender, and your Rallying Blade. Uh, keep in mind, uh, notice that these uh, King's Defender in both Rallying Blade have a Battle Cry. Uh, you won't actually get these if Malkrok summons these weapons. Uh, battle Cries do not count. If again, I'll crock some of these weapons, so don't expect them to trigger. Uh, with that said, all of these weapons are 3 2, so there's not really a huge discrepancy in there. Uh, this is your average tier, there's four of them. Remember, there's 20 weapons in total. We have a 20% chance to grab one of these. So, as of now, we've got a 55% chance to grab a, uh, a decent weapon or better. But there's always worse <laughs> and that's what I get this is kind of the tier that we're this is this is my kind of look we're gonna move down into the Rob tier right here this is the, instead of saying bad tier this is just say what Rob gets every time and um, this is your lights justice it really doesn't do much justice um, the art and the Argent Lance uh, the blade and the Stormforge axe so out of these uh, four uh, weapons you could get hopefully you don't get them but I do <laughs> uh, the Stormforge axe is probably your best bet as it does have that three durability and two attack lights justice being the worst but you know depending on what class you're playing against you know having four charges instead of three or two could in fact be better so like against the paladin lights justice and you're killing off the one ones it could be good but either way most of the time Stormforge axe is gonna Stormforge axe is gonna be your best bet Again, four weapons out of 20, 20% 20 chance to get some of the, you know, the, war, the, the the bad weapons. Not the worst, not the worst, but we're getting bad. Um, this is this is Rob's tier right here. This is Rob tier V2, and we've got the Cursed Blade. If you're not familiar with what the Cursed Blade does, let me, let me lay it on you. Double all damage dealt to your hero. 
So as that may not seem, you know, okay, well, you can just get rid of the blade, right? And it'll just go away after that. Okay, well, the problem is it has three charges. So it's going to take at least three turns. If it doesn't take three turns and you happen to have a weapon in your hand, you can override this ability and get rid of your cursed blade, which is what I used to do with Mount Karak after I stopped playing him. Not saying he's a bad card, he's just bad for me because my RNG sucks. <laughs> uh, but the, uh, playing against maybe a Shaman... Um, used to be druid but most of the time shaman or rogue known for really big burst damage uh especially if you get a rogue that's running double cold blood doubly this which is pretty standard right now uh you can take quite a bit of damage if curse blade comes out and i choose death that's basically what happens this comes out you lose um and then we have the variable tier uh, so this is most of the time, depending on who you're going against, you know, getting tentacles for arms when you're going against an aggro deck, it's probably not the best. You're hoping for maybe a Gorehal or True Silver Champion or something to heal you of some sorts, as five spending five mana for 2-2 two, two doesn't feel good. But for the most part, these are going to be some value weapons, especially Sword of Justice, you know, Charge Hammer and Poison Blade, you keep using your passive, gets higher and higher attack. So... Most of the time, these are going to be good. Sometimes they'll be bad, but most of the time, you know, 90, 99... 95% of the time, these are going to be some pretty good weapons for you. And again, there's four of these, 20% chance, and I believe we left off at 55. So you have basically a 75% chance to get an average weapon or better. And by average, we're going to go back to right here. This is average. And then, or better. So you basically 75% chance to recap the value of that two mana that you missed out on, which we mentioned before, of Malkarok, because he has the stats of a five mana card, but you pay seven for him. But again, his battle cry is what makes it worth it. Um, and then you've got the 20% chance to get the bad, and then you have that 5% chance for death. So overall, 3 out of 4 chance to get an average weapon or higher. And then from there, you know, if you're looking for top tier, you're at your 15%. If you're looking for your great tier, you're at 20%. So um, again, I will put the link to this website in the description below, uh, just so you guys can maybe refer back to it, or if maybe I didn't answer anything in particular that you're looking for, or you just want to read it yourself, go ahead. Um, I recommend you do that, as there's a lot of great content in this, um, and along, on, along with that, on this website in general. So, uh, I believe that pretty much goes over everything we need to go over with this particular new warrior legendary. Some, um, I actually made this video because a couple people were asking me how good this guy was. And in my experience, he's really bad for me. Like, I, I tried playing this guy in my temple warrior. I tried playing him control warrior. I tried playing him in Cthulhu warrior. No matter what happens, I, didn't, I never got a uh, better than average weapon. I used him at least 40 times. <laughs> and it just, I could not get above. <laughs> it was just... It was bad. So, for the normal people who play Hearthstone and the normal Hearthstone, Hearthstone community who have normal luck and average luck, or even maybe sometimes below average, but most of the time just average luck, this guy's actually pretty good. For me, not so good. So it all depends on your RNG, folks, and how uh, how you're feeling. Most of the time, you'll get something at least average again or better. Um, so, with that, guys, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. I definitely enjoyed making it, and I actually found this information pretty uh, useful when I was looking it up, so hopefully, again, you found it useful, and I was able to relay something that you'll actually come in handy when you're playing your ranked games, and you'll know the percentages a little bit better and whether or not this guy will actually fit in your deck. Uh, so, as always, I'm Warshak, and happy whatever the hell day it is.